Hi everybody, I'm going to try this one more time. This is video number four, and if it breaks up as much as the other one done, I guess has done. I guess Wi Fi is just not going to cooperate today because of the rain. So, we're talking about geranium 15 milliliter bottle for geranium. It has a lovely floral tone. Geranium's known as the poor man's rose oil because it's economically priced, whereas rose oil is not economically priced. Speaking of price, the price for geranium is $36 retail, $27 wholesale. It's one of my favorites. I typically diffuse this one the most in the car on my little clothespin diffuser. I also don't buy Lysol anymore. I use a two ounce spray bottle and I put some drops of essential oil and water in, shake it every time I spray it. Does a wonderful job on dealing with the unpleasant odors in the bathroom. And I also frequently use it on my dryer balls because I really like the way it makes the clothes smell afterwards. So it's steam distilled from the leaves of the plant. And its main constituents are citronella and geraniol. Geraniol was found to help support healthy colon cells in a Japanese study last year. And citronella is thought to support the liver. And we all know we can't live without our livers. So it has a lot of primary uses. And again, anything that you would use rose oil for, you can use, you can substitute geranium for it because chemically they're very similar. It blends with all oils. It's safe to use in all three methodologies, aromatically, topically, and internally. It has a supplement box on the bottle. doTERRA's oils are safe to ingest internally because of their high level of purity. They don't have synthetics or fillers in them. So what can you use geranium for? Lots of things it turns out. For agitation to calm it, for airborne bacteria, autism, bleeding, bruises, calcified spine, cancer, broken capillaries, diabetes, diarrhea, endometriosis, environmental stress, gallbladder stones, hair, hernias caused from an incision, impetigo, insomnia in older children, jaundice, jet lag, low libido, uh, after a miscarriage, for MRSA, osteoarthritis and osteoporosis, for pancreas support, for paralysis, pelvic pain syndrome, physical stress, PMS, post-labor, rheumatoid arthritis, um, dry skin, sensitive skin, gastric ulcer, a varicose ulcer, vertigo, and wrinkles. That is a bunch of stuff. And this book says that it blends well with every oil. I was surprised. I hadn't seen it say that about anything else. The Essential Life book has some additional information. Um, it's very good for the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, and kidneys. Apply topically and over the area of concern and take internally. Apply to cuts and wounds to keep the wounds clean and promote healing for tissue regeneration, for PMS and hormone balancing, massage topically on the abdomen or take internally under the, under the tongue. For dry or oily hair or skin, apply topically to troubled areas to retain oil balance. There are lots of hair recipes using geranium on doTERRA.com. You can make your own hair spray. You can make your own um, heat protective thing, which I use because I use a straightener a lot. Um, 
it makes a good moisturizer or you can just add it to the moisturizer that you have already it's good for body odor I have used it for this I take my little spray bottle and just do a squirt under each underarm and it cuts the body odor immediately and it's good for emotional balance to take you from feeling neglected to mended and that takes us to our emotions book geranium is the oil of love and trust geranium restores confidence in the innate goodness of others and in the world it facilitates trust especially when an individual has lost trust in others due to difficult life circumstances it also assists in reestablishing a strong bond to one's mother and father when there has been a loss of trust in relationships geranium encourages emotional honesty love and forgiveness it fosters receptivity to human love and connection it aids in healing the broken heart it encourages emotional honesty geranium could be called the emotional healer it is a gentle oil perfect for babies and children at its root geranium heals the heart instills unconditional love and fosters trust so negative emotions would be abandonment, loss, distrusting, unforgiving, unloving, disheartened, heavy-hearted, or grief. Positive emotions would be emotional healing, trusting, forgiving, gentle, loving, tolerant, and open. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how to use geranium oil in your home. And I hope this video worked this time. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.